Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day and a good Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Today we are going to be working on Quaker Sampling 3. And this is from With My Needle. And I got it of course at 123 Stitch. And it's being worked on 14 count French latte. And I'm using thread number 221. So you can see that. Got to get out my, my thread here. Hoy vey. What a day. Now I worked a little bit on this last night. And we're just going to carry on here. Hush, Molly. Molly says hi. Hi, baby. Oh, dear. What a day. I woke up with my uh, son and my daughter had called me but while I, before I ever even woke up. That's okay, I called them all back and wished everybody on that end a happy Mother's Day and they wished me happy Mother's Day and then I got my act together and went to, um, I had to make sure I was doing it right, my uh, daughter's house and we sat and chatted. I took her birthday slash Mother's Day gift. I got her like a pot holder and, um, a pot holder and the dish cloth and the dish towel thing that all comes together in a set and I got her four little ramekins like like these she goes oh I can make creme brulee creme brulee she even has the torch for the creme brulee yeah so she was happy about that and I also got her a bunt pan and two bath towels and two wash rags because we always give like that kind of thing like household cooking stuff oh and I got her one of those silicone mitts I happened to see so she was thrilled she can hardly wait to make a bunt, or pan, or cake in her bunt pan <coughs> Molly Hush it's kind of warm out there today. I mean, it says it's 61, but it feels like it's a lot warmer than that. You know, Molly! In the, um, you know, in the sun. The sun's out, blue sky, etc., etc. We sat there and we ate and watched uh, Batteries Not Included with Jessica Tandy, Tandy and uh, Hune Crone. And they're gone now. I miss them. I like them. They were in Cocoon and lots of stuff. Way back. Way, way back. They started in Vaudeville. That's how old they were. They were older people when my kids, when that Batteries Not Included came out. They did that in Cocoon. Pretty close in, in space, you know, in between. Yeah, I'm, no, we're not doing a motif today. I just took off where I where I left off last night. And we're just going to sew until we can't do it anymore. How's that? that work? Uh, I was watching a little bit of Fiber Talk. They were having a race between Vanna and Gary as to who would stitch a motif faster. Well, of course, Miss Vanna, she's going to win, I think. She's... A pretty slick stitcher and she's really good at it so she's also very good at finishing things I just love how she finishes stuff some people got a knack for that and others not so much I would be on that other list so yeah oh goodness but this is a great big old flower pot here let me show it to you on the Thing, so you know where we're we're working we are right I can't see where my finger is right here 
and I just did that whole side and got that motif done last night. I was just just stitching to be stitching, and then it goes went down, and so I'm doing the, the thing coming up and getting ready to put the spikes on the, the branches on the thing there. So we'll just see where we get. Not a big deal. I gotta count. Hang on. I can't count from a distance. One, six. We're almost there. I love this 14 count, and it's so easy to stitch on compared to 16. It's, you know, it takes a little bit more time, and the stitches are much smaller, but I like them, and I'm using two strands. As par for the course. I'm using my little needle minder there. It's so pretty. It's just it's just gorgeous in person. You can see all the paisley inside of it. I try to hold it as still as possible. Isn't that just beautiful? Just love them. I have a bunch of these. I don't have anything to put them in, but that would be a good idea. You can get them off of Amazon, or facsimile thereof, because they make them for, uh, like, you know, like if you were going to make a necklace one, you know, cabochons. Isn't that what that's called? Are they, are they still cabochons when they're like this and they're not oval? Or I, I don't know that much about jewelry, but I went through that phase. Not going there again. Come on. Even got my coffee here for a change. So tomorrow, well, you can keep your fingers crossed because I still didn't get my, uh, what do you call it? My Instapot. The last place it said it was at was Bernardino, California. And it ain't here yet, so... Not happening. I don't know what day my uh, lap stand's going to show up and where it's actually coming from. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hang in there, guys. i got to go this way for a while. Well, that is if I could stick it in the hole. And I was just saying how easy it was to stitch. Now i got to count. Hang on. One moment, there'll be a technical difficulty. Got a stitch across eight. So we'll see what we get done today. Like I said, I was watching Fiber Talk and they were having a race and it's like every 15 minutes and they stitch for 45 minutes to see who gets the furthest. Or she just whipping the pants off of him. But uh, they are both really good stitchers. You know, their stitches just look immaculate. It's like, oh, okay, maybe someday I might get there. And she uses mostly a uh, frame. And she stitches two-handed. So. We'll see. Got two more stitches to go. I gotta look at this. Well, now that's just freaking weird. Oh, hell. Fire damnation. Okay, we're gonna stop this because you see what I did here and then I didn't do here? Yeah. So, there's all that's gonna have to be frogged out. We're gonna go someplace else and work. We can go up here. Hang on, I gotta. That's what happens when I stitch sometimes and talk at the same time. We'll just go back up to the lettering because why not, right? Why not? So, is anybody gonna order dinner in for Mother's Day and or barbecue or?
do something like that. Now, my daughter, she was going to barbecue later for her mother-in-law because her husband had to go out of town to go pick up a, a vehicle and uh, from a friend. So, yay. We are special today. Let's see. We got the side thing done there. Oh, I was watching uh, season 16 of, um, what is it? Grey's Anatomy, because it, they finally got it. Hang on, i got to figure out what's going on here. You know, some days you just don't get it right, and you just got to frog and frog and frog till you just can't see straight. About that, the second time I have to frog something out, you know, I, uh, I'm like putting it down and it gets a timeout. Worked a little bit on cardinal points. I finally set all the colors out and they look okay from what I picked out. And I just did like one little flower, I call it a flower, yeah, flower motif. On the side, so I'll show that to you when I get to my floss tube. But uh, not doing too much. I got off early yesterday, but I was just tired. I didn't have to go to the grocery store or anything weird. I don't think. Maybe I did. I had to go get Amber, my daughter, um, a birthday card. I gotta make sure this is all lined up. Okay, the second one should be lined. Yes, it's perfect. Um, birthday card and a Mother's Day card at the grocery store. So, we'll see. And I came home and used my uh, toaster oven. It worked quite nice. Quite nice. I'm just pleased as punch that I actually got one that big. I cooked a regular size pizza in that sucker last night, and it was just yummy. Two. Got to see here. Got to have one rat there. So other than that, that's about all I got planned, unless anything else comes along. We shall see. Okay, I got those two and those two, so I gotta go up one. Okay. And then I gotta stitch five. So I haven't been doing a whole lot of uh, stitching this week, you know, like for any great amount of time. Been just trying to get to work and get that done, and I don't know. Just kind of tired as of late. So maybe I can get some stitching done. I'd like to tackle this kitchen, but, you know, not too hard. Because that just constitutes having to take the trash out. Yay! It's always fun. So. Fun, fun, fun. Got one more, I believe. I look at it, make sure I'm doing it right. Jeez. There we go. Got that part done. Then I gotta go down. Whoop. Watched a little bit of the, uh, oh, that's attractive. Just attractive. Did you see that? I hooked that side of the thread and pulled it straight down square. So we'll just have to give it another one. Just for, you know, shits and giggles. <sighs> so. Other than that. Not doing too much else this week. Just want to stay at home and work on my stitch projects. Now, Tuesday, we may go to the thrift store 
I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we can always hope. Okay, hang on just a second. I gotta loop the thread across so I'm not going across the material and back down to the bottom here. Okay. There's a line right there. Another set of five. Boy, this is a big C. Then I think we'll about have it. Got to put another end on it like that one, but I'll try not to screw it up. I think that's what kind of personalizes things, is if you make just tiny, stupid little mistakes. You know, not enough for it to matter, but it's like you have a humble block in quilting. You know, one that's not perfectly done right, or it's a different color. And, uh, this thing would humble you, though. I'm telling you, trying to follow it. Oh, hellfire. Really? I thought, well, why is that so far across? Talking, stitching, skipping stitches. Yeah. I'm not so good at this. What the hell? Some days, I may have to drag out yin and yang yet. Just so I can just do some straight stitching. All right. Let's see what happened here. Let us see what happened here, darling. Get one of my threaders. You knew we had to have a mistake that I had to back up on. I swear. I have to have a drink. My daughter bought us, her and me, that is, both a... Uh, it's called Tequila Rose Strawberry Cream little shot, you know, in a little shot thing. We both had those. Mm, yeah. No. Told her I was not in the mood for that, but I drank three quarters of it. I couldn't gag down the rest of it. Okay, what is going on? Okay, you got those three. And there's one more. Well, maybe it was in position. I don't know. Two. And then this has to have two. Just like up above. See? And then we can go kitty corner. It's kind of warm in here today. I left the air conditioner off while I was filming. Because it just makes too much noise because it's like maybe 10 15 feet away from me so i shut it off and then do my video and and go on so didn't watch any other movies i was watching Grey's anatomy i'm up to Segment eight. Of. Uh, the 16th season, I believe. And I've watched everything else. So what the heck. Did that. Was that supposed to go up? Yes. Okay. So I need one right here. Yeah, I think I'll just sit and stitch on something that's kind of consistent for the rest of the day. I don't know. I might work on the uh, Elemental Dragon. I haven't worked on it for a while. And I came real close to pulling out Game of Swans, but just didn't want to look at it right away. So, we'll see. I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow what I work on today. As usual. All right, guys. Well, we tried to get something done there, but you see where it's off? Yeah. This whole thing needs to uh, 
do something else. I'm not real sure what, but I'll rip it back out and figure out where it's got to go. So, All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please have a good rest of... Please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Did I just say that twice? <gasps> yeah, it's been that kind of a week. Oh, my goodness. Come on, normal. Have a good rest of your Sunday, a good rest of your weekend. Happy Mother's Day again. God bless. Stay healthy, stay safe, and wash your hands. Bye-bye.